Curious to see how Drawio works? In this quick demo, I'll show you how to create a sample diagram and embed it directly into your Confluence page. By the end, you'll have a solid understanding of how to use Drawio to get your ideas onto the page fast and easy. Let's start from within a Confluence page. To create a new diagram, click on the plus icon here and just type draw IO. For this demo, we're gonna select draw your diagram from the drop-down menu. This will open in the template manager, which contains the different templates that you can use to get started. But for now, we're gonna keep it simple and we're just gonna click on blank diagram and then create. You'll see an empty canvas with the shape library on the left. This panel is where you'll find everything you need to start building your diagram. Now let's add a few shapes. Drag and drop the ellipsis shape from the general shape library onto the canvas. This is gonna be our starting point. And to label it, you can just start typing. So we'll type start. Next, we'll grab a rectangle and this will be the next step in our flow. And notice you can click the shape at any time to modify the text. So I'll click it and then I'll make this one our activity. Connecting these shapes is simple. You're gonna go over to your start shape, hover over it, and you're gonna to go to the arrow and then you're gonna drag that over to activity and draw your automatically connects them, making it easy to establish the flow. Now we're gonna add a decision shape. We're gonna head over here to our shape libraries and we're gonna go under the flow chart section. And then we're going to take this one right here and we're gonna bring it over and we're gonna drag until we get to the connector line. You'll see this blue arrow. Once the blue arrow is highlighted, we let it go. And as you can see, Dryo will automatically integrate the new shape and link it to the existing flow with no extra steps required. So far, we've added three basic shapes and created a simple flow between them. Next, we're gonna look at some formatting options. On the right here, you'll see the formatting panel. When nothing is selected, it gives you the general options of controlling what your diagram will look like. Once you select the shape, it'll give you the formatting options for that shape. This is where you can customize the appearance of your shapes and connectors. Let's change the colors of our shapes. We'll start with our starting shape. We'll change that to green here from the style panel, and then maybe our activity shape will change here to a nice blue and then our decision shape will change here to a yellowish orange you can customize the colors even further if you would like to adjusting them to fit your organizational colors if need be you can also modify the weight of lines and add shadows and even change the connector styles themselves for this demo i'll increase the weight line of the connectors just to make them stand out a bit more i'll hit shift command e to select my connectors that is just a simple shortcut that allows you to select all connectors. And then here I'll begin to adjust the weight of the line. I'm gonna double click on the activity shape. This opens up the extended text options where you can apply different colors to different portions of text. You can align it in various ways and even add hyperlinks. For now, I'll just make the text bold to highlight it. The Arrange tab lets you easily position your shapes, adjust the spacing, and align everything. If you're a perfectionist, this is where you can get everything pixel perfect. And you can see the different options that you have here. Now, once we're happy with our diagram, we're going to click Publish. And here you can see that our diagram is automatically embedded into Confluence, making it easier to view, edit, and collaborate with your teammates. Now your diagram is live on the page and any changes that you make will be saved directly to Confluence. This means that you and your team can work together on the diagram in real time, no separate files or uploads needed. And that's it. In just a few minutes, we created a basic flowchart and embedded it inside of Confluence. Dryo makes it super simple to get started. If you'd like to try Dryo, head over to the Elastic Marketplace so you can get your 30-day free trial. Until next time, stay connected.